13 with Bruce Vander. Vanderveer. And. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're here kicking it live with these wonderful folks. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what you do in terms of, uh, Bruce, on what you do in terms of your artistry in, in the industry. Yeah, they call me Bruce Automatic, and I'm a producer for Sony Music. Okay. And uh, I produce Jinsu, a.k.a. Zia. Uh, I've produced and written Uncommitted, and also the new single, Incredible, featuring Sean Puffy Combs' son. Sweet. Quincy, Quincy Combs. Uh-huh. And my partner here, Ebony Cunningham, also we wrote. Uh, and produce incredible together. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, this is uh, Sorry, our this new venture into K-pop music. We were very happy Sorry. and excited about it. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, what, Ebony? What do you do in the industry, and how is this convention, you know, so important to the masses? Well, I'm a songwriter. Okay. A producer. And Automatic and I are teammates, and we work on everything together. And so our entry into K-pop, as he said, with Jinsu on right. CBS's record label. Right. And so I was a vocal producer on that song. Mm -hmm. So incredible, like you said, we co-wrote, and I did a little vocal producing on that as well. And K-Con is the biggest uh, K-pop music festival in America. And I think they're expecting the 20 to 1,000 people here. Oh, absolutely. Anything that has to do with anything about K-pop is here, and we have a lot of great artists. And we're excited to actually uh, meet a lot of great artists and producers here today. Oh, absolutely, you know. K-Con 2013, yo. That's right, that's yeah. right. Now, since this is a youth magazine, for young adults to empower them for education, dreams, and goals. What would you like to say to teens worldwide about the power of forgiveness? The power of forgiveness? Yes. Uh, very interesting. It's very important to uh, understand that we all are not perfect people. Okay. Uh, and we all are trying to be better people. But all I right. think the most important thing is uh, when you forgive, it makes you a better person, it makes you stronger, mm -hmm. uh, and it really truly is important to always dust your path clean. Okay. So do the best that you can at learning how to understand and always understand that every time that you challenge yourself by being a forgiver, you know, forgiving person, uh -huh. uh, it, you continue to escalate as a human being anyway. All right. And, uh, that's, you know, in music, you make a lot of mistakes. Oh, yeah. But you have to forgive yourself as well so that you can continue progressing. And that's Absolutely. what we do every day. Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Yeah. What would you like to add to that, uh, Evan? Um, I think, you know, when someone does something to slight you or something bad to you, whether it's your mom or your dad or your best friend, right? Um, if you hold on to that thing, it will actually make you better and make you become a person who's negative. And it actually only hurts you, it doesn't hurt the other person. All so right. it's important to let those things go so that you can move forward and you can live a happy, positive life and you can reach your dreams. And sometimes when you're reaching for your dreams and your career, things that are in your, uh, people who are in your you know, industry could do something bad to you or slight you and it's important to forgive and let those things go so that you can progress in what you're trying to do. Amen. Awesome. Yeah. Now, what would you like to say to young adults about coping with the uh, depression? So, how would, what would you like to say to them about coping with depression? You know, I think it's important to uh, know that everyone has down periods. Everyone has dark days. Right. Uh, not everyone is always going to feel happy 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, how you deal with it makes you a better person. Uh, as a matter of fact, the thing that's great about music mm -hmm. and art uh, in general right. is when you have those days when you're down, uh -huh. that's actually the time when you should actually start expressing yourself artistically. Okay. Writing, painting, working, drawing. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, that emotion brings out some beautiful stuff sometimes. And it's okay to, you know, to ride that wave, understand that things will always get better, no matter right. what it is. Right. They will always get better. So, you know, uh, learn how to work it out artistically as opposed to taking it out on yourself, hurting others or hurting yourself. You don't want to do that. Be, you know, productive with your emotions, you know. Absolutely. You can do some great things. Absolutely. Ebony, what would you like to add to that? I think it's important to know that you are special in your own way and there's something about you that is special that no one else has or no one else can do. And 
times when you are getting down on yourself or maybe someone's picking on you about something in your life. You know, I was teased when I was little because I was chubby. <laughs> and I had these big glasses that cost like $2 and we couldn't afford nothing else. Right. But I knew that there was something about me, which was my voice, mm -hmm. um, that was special. And that set me apart and that gave me a reason to not be sad. So right. I think you, even if you don't know what it is now, you have to find it, look for it. Ask your friends, what's special about me? What do you like about me? So that you know if there's something special about me. Well, I want to make one comment also. Absolutely. In reference to depression in teens. Um, my daughter, mm -hmm. Autumn Simone, sitting right over here, is an artist. <laughs> and she's actually going to be releasing a single in about a year from now. All right. Uh, she's 16 years old, singer, songwriter, guitarist. And she Sweet. actually writes on those kind of issues. Nice. So um, she has real good insight into how teenagers feel sometimes when they're not feeling up and right. down, and she actually writes about it, and writes about it well. Nice. Uh, and we're producing uh, songs on Autumn that will help teens get through these kind of moments. So look forward to that. Uh, our company, Enrage Entertainment, will be releasing products next year. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. All that, all them blessings, you yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Yes, sir. Now, you know, August 29th is Michael Jackson's birthday, oh, and oh. rest in peace to the King of Pop. Yes, sir. You know, and... It's, you know, it's, it's bittersweet, it's sad, you know, yeah. after, you know, five years, per se. Yes. And you worked with him. What was he like as a person, as a true artist, icon, legend, you know? He speaks volumes, you know? Yeah. We oh. all wouldn't be here today, you know, without him, you know? I wouldn't be here. He gave me my first start in production. Um, Michael Jackson was truly behind closed doors, an incredible person, real, mm -hmm. uh, down to earth, mm -hmm. hilarious, very funny, and very country. He's from Indiana, just <laughs> like my woman over here, she's from Indiana. Um, and he was one of the greatest things that have ever happened to music and, and also just humanity on this, in, on this planet. Absolutely. He was a person who gave back a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just honored to be a part in the really small part of what he's done and what he was trying to create with his own record label. Um, and now, yeah. uh, we realize his influence because most musicians, recording artists, are, are emulating, emulating uh, imitating him. They're, they're constantly referring to his scales and runs and riffs and emotional content in songs. Absolutely. And he's left his mark and he's changed music forever. And uh, I love him, and, you know, rest in peace, Mike. Evan. I just, you know, I didn't work with him, but Absolutely. to add to that, he has had the biggest influence on music, on pop music, globally. And we see that in K-pop music. Since we're here at K-Con, uh, and many artists, you see his dances, you see his sound. Exactly. You see that in American Artists, you know, like you pointed out as well. He's an international he, icon. Yes, you know? he is. We, we would, <laughs> Everybody in in the in in Asia and the community and yeah. knows about him. Yeah. You know, he spent a lot of time, you know, over there. You know, well, that's why roughly like with, with uh, Jin Su as well. Mm -hmm. Jin Su reminds us of Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. that kind of vibe and feel. Talking about yeah. Jin Su, yeah. you know, that reminds us of uh, Michael. Yeah. Well, I thank you guys both for taking the time out of your busy little schedules here at KCON 2013 to I talk know. to Star Chat Magazine, you publication in Los Angeles. Yeah. Star Chat 2013, <laughs> yo. Check them out. So you can follow Automatic on Twitter at Bruce Automatic. All right. You can follow me at Ebby Ray, that's E B Y R A E. And you can follow our record label, Enrage Entertainment, at I-N-R-A-G-E-E-N-T. That's Enrage Entertainment. Wonderful, wonderful. And Thank you, guys. one last plug I just yes. want to say. Uh, I've got a rock band called Asphalt Messiah. Check them out when you can. Asphaltmessiah.com. Black music, rock music, hip-hop. We call it ghetto metal. So check it out. I like that. Ghetto metal. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, man.